the last time you guys hunting Teodora gave on you Dragon a Ball Z. Um, and she is now uh, she leads you to uh, Ramshackle River Barge named Hastelin's Folly tied to the tied to Lake Tarek's bank uh, I'm just um, gonna say, uh, the, uh message give me, me when, uh, you guys are done, because I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, yeah. bye, bye. I... Bye. Someone give me perception. The user was moved out of your channel. Alright, that'll be enough to notice that the captain and the three-man crew of this shallow-bottomed barge are thoroughly under Theodora's control, and certainly no threat to you. Then um, she says to you, the master commands you board. You will learn more later. Uh, you guys board? Yes, mistress. <laughs> <laughs> um... Accommodations are crude. There is only one cabin, and Theodora has already evicted the so-called captain and made that her own personal domain. Um, the rest of you must sleep with the crew on the deck of the barge. Hell there is no. no roof. Uh, there is a roof, but no walls. And you know that night on on the lake and rivers can be bitterly cold. Let's snuggle with Theodora. Uh, I mean, the door's locked. <laughs> I can, she can, I can knock. Yes. It's cold. Can I come in? He opens the door. Sorry, dearie. This place is all mine. Oh. Improves your character. No, EXP does that. Um. <laughs> Do we still have a cat hook? Uh, yeah, I think so. Why? Because he's furry. Oh, yes! Ah, oh, we can all snuggle. I like where we're going with this. This is this is what Nascon has always dreamed of. And we have Grumble Jack. Yeah, we need Grumble Jack. We're doing like a like a dog pile here to stay warm. Yep. All right. Well, you guys have several days. Just kill. What do you want to do? Exactly that. Where are we going? Uh, we are bound for Farhold, the northernmost colony of Tallingard. Why are we going there? To bring Tallingard to its knees. Master will reveal more when he is ready. Asta! Well, crap, I guess I'm just gonna hang out, shoot the shit, get drunk, that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, for 12 days, you guys sail, um, uh, and the, the barge never docks. Every night, the barge will anchor within sight of a village or keep, although it does not dock, it stays, keeps its distance, um, and... And then in the morning, you guys resume sailing. And after about uh, 12, on the 12th night, Cardinal Thorn finally shows himself. You hear some talking in Theodore's cabin. And then after a short while, Theodore comes out and announces the master is here and commands you attend him in the cabin. 
Well, alrighty. As you guys enter, um, Thorn will say, You have served me faithfully, my knight. Not. And I have rewarded you both in treasure and vengeance. Thanks to your efforts, the fire axe has been unleashed. Even now, he writes his name in blood across the borderlands. These battles have been fought and three victories won. The villages of Ambril, Tarrington Fields lie sacked. The fortress of Loring's Gate is in ruins. Each of you did your part in seeing the triumphs come to fruition. Do not think that I have forgotten that. But our work is not yet done. Talengard has not yet acquiesced to our unholy master, nor tasted the full measure of our vengeance. So I have another mission for you. Tomorrow this barge will dock in Farhold, the northernmost town in all the realm. Farhold is the northernmost town in all the realm. Farhold is a backwater of no of no real significance. Its lord has already ref left the place, hoping for glory in the war. But it does border the Care Briar, the largest unmapped forest on the entire island. Hidden within the Care Briar is the Horn of Abaddon, an ancient temple once occupied by a particularly loathsome death cult called the Sons of the Pale Horsemen. Almost 80 years ago, the first Darien king, Arcadian I, called Victorious, overthrew the Horn and destroyed the Sons. No great loss, honestly. But what the victor found within the temple is why we are here. He defeated a daemon prince called Betra Kali Eats the Eyes. So terrified of this monstrosity was the king that he had the priests of, Mistra, cra of Mitra craft a great silver seal to forever forbid the daemon from returning to our plane of existence. This seal the remains daemon. to this day. <laughs> I have learned the truth about this daemon prince. I have learned what the victor mm -hmm. feared. Betra Kali is an archdeacon in service to the lord of Petula Pestilence. This the immortal vegan? monster could create a plague so violent that it will bring Talengard to its knees. When the victor attacked, the daemon prince was close to unleashing his masterpiece upon the world, a pestilence known as the Tears of Aklis. I'm uncertain of the specifics of this plague, but if anything could terror could cause terror in the heart of the victor, then I want it. The Tears of Aklis will be our poison dagger into the heart of Talengard. I already have agents in the great cities of this kingdom. This pestilence, they could deliver blight and death to the very center of the realm. Caught between the twin storms of the Fire Axe and Ventricle's gift, we shall bring ruin to Dalengard. This gift you shall bring to me. It will not be easy. I have already lost one band of followers on this errand. I sent the fourth knot to find the Horden of Abad, and they succeeded at least in that. Revealing to me that it was concealed within a great spire of stone less than a day's ride from Farhold. But then they vanished. I have heard no more from the elven ranger Aiden Kale User since. User joined your channel. He knew the Cerebriar well, so no, no normal hazard would defeat him. Perhaps the Horn of Abaddon is guarded. I cannot say, but it matters not. The tears of Aklis must be mine. I am undeterred by the setback, where one not failed, two will succeed. I will also send my seventh knot, the knot Habernal, led by Elise Zadaria and Viserys. I task you with finding the horn and calling forth Vetra Kali. Elise and Viserys and their knot will aid you. Elise proved herself a capable assassin in our venture, and Viserys a very capable mage. The seventh knot will remain in Farhold, and see that anyone who tries to find the horn and interfere with your work meets an unhappy end. Thus you will have time to do what must be done. There is another who may aid you. Once a thriving cult of Asmodeus existed in Farhold. It was led by a half-elvish noble, Baron Arkov Vandermeer. He is treacherous and decadent, but wealthy and well-connected. Theodora will introduce you before she departs. I know not what aid the Baron can provide, but his family is old and long has dwelt in Farhold. Never trust him, but know this, he's afraid of me, and with good reason. If he does try anything, remind him that you are in Farhold on my behalf. That should keep him in line. Find the horn, seal it, and shatter it. Call Betrakali back to our world. Bind him to your will and force service from this monster. 
and then bring his gift to me. Can you do this, my knot? Have I found servants with might and will enough to see this task done? Fuck you! <laughs> yeah. Hello. Uh, I agree. Fuck you. Sure, mate. It is important to know. I'll just really flippant about this. Yeah, I agree. Whatever. Hey, Tom. <laughs> I'm here. like, sure, mate. Thumbs up. <laughs> All right. Very I'm, good. I'm here. Any questions? Yep, I have no clue what's going on. Can Theodora come with us? Can we use this question time to get me caught up? I... I have tasks for Theodora. She will do my bidding, not yours. My bidding last night. He made my pudding. Uh, basically, Brian, you uh, are going... The, here's the key points. Find the horn, break the seal, and summon Vetrakali into our world. When Vetrakali uh, is okay. here, get the tears of Aklas from him and bring them to Cardinal Thorn. Theodora will introduce you to the Baron Vandermeer. Don't trust him, but he worships Asmodeus too. He may prove useful. Uh, the horn is less than a day outside Farhold in a spire of stone. Uh, he's already sent other minions to see the horn of Abaddon. They failed. Do not fail. Well, yeah, because if we fail, we're probably dead. <laughs> so, don't die. Got it. Okay, yep. Okay, sounds good. So, any questions? I'm assuming one of us knows where mm. this uh, where this is. You know it's a day's ride outside of Farhold, that's it. Where's Farhold? Like, do we know where Farhold is? Like, do, do we know the locations of basically that's, everything? You're, you're on the way there. there. Oh, okay. It's on the map, it's like top left. <laughs> so, coming from Ballantine to Farhold, it's basically across the country. Oh, yay. Yeah, it's a 12-day. 12 12-day 12 journey. You, This is the 12th night. Um, with, I guess, all of your questions answered, um, he hands you another clay seal marked with the unholy symbol of Asmodeus. If you recover the tears or need to report anything to me, break this seal. I will send Teodora to wherever you are in an hour or two. Now go with the blessings of the Prince of Hell and see this mission done. Oh, well, that's not good. Hey, let's not use it until we actually accomplish the... Get further. <laughs> I've, uh... This isn't the first time I've been given something that's like, oh, yeah, use this to, to call me. It does not end well when you call them and you don't have what they want. <laughs> uh, it didn't, did it, Ryan? <laughs> no, it did not. He got very pissed off. And we all almost died. <laughs> yeah. You call me Good one times. more time, I will fucking slaughter you and your entire fucking family. It's like, okay, I apologize. <laughs> was that was that my last campaign? I don't remember. Was I just remember that happened. That Sean's? Yeah, I think it was Sean's. Oh, I think that was I think it was Sean's. Anyways. Yeah. Um Colonel Thorne does not linger uh, for very long. He teleports away quickly uh, a few moments later. The next day, your barge docks in Farhold. Uh, I don't have room for my Keurig. Ah, oh, well, shit. It's like putting a bear trap on somebody's doorstep, ring the doorbell, running. They look at it and then close the door and leave. <laughs> <laughs> Just go back inside. It fucking hit, went to a different page. <laughs> Fuck you. You gotta be so rude. Jeez. So rude. Right? Alright, hold on, give me a second while I load back in. Alright. By the way, this is what you see on the barge. Direction. 
Okay, well, I'm away from my laptop at the moment. Oh, that is a view. I'm like, hell yeah. Uh, kisses As before we leave. Leaving, uh, Valentine, that was your sight. And then. This is Farhold. Oh, uh, so we're like there. <sighs> All right. Yeah, this is where you are. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm not at my laptop at the moment, so. Okay. Uh... Sorry, I'm trying to find a place to put my Keurig. Uh, Theodora informs you that she's already made contact with Vandermeer, and you all have, are you all are having dinner with him tomorrow night. Find something presentable to wear. Um, and Define presentable. At that she sends at that she sends you into the town. Well, I want to ask her to find presentable first. Like well, is what I'm wearing? Am I am what I'm wearing presentable? What are you wearing? I just look at my picture. Literally, what it is. Right. I feel like it would be presentable. No, Nope's clothes are expensive, bro. Okay. What about cleric's vestment? Mm -hmm. Noble's clothing are very expensive. As she, as you question that, she's gonna look at you and give you a very pointed, annoyed look. Well, you I know you care. have a circlet of disguise, you can wear wherever you want. Oh, that is true. I don't actually have to pay for things. We can just kill at mentioning, everyone. At mentioning that, that will not work, dearies. Wear something presentable. Uh, why will that not work? <laughs> Can she go shopping with me and get me, it, get me, like, you know, fixed up? Well, after she pushes you off the boat, she disappears. Oh, Don't sad face. She pushes us off the boat, Jesus. Yeah, she's not a very nice person. She's not. She's a horrid lady. I mean, it's one thing to be evil, it's another thing <laughs> to be a dick and evil. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that is basically, like, the, char the character idea of Mastin in a nutshell. I mean, you can be polite and still be, you know, want to torture somebody. Yeah, you're a nice evil person. Good kind of evil. Well, yeah, she'd probably, probably be nicer to you if you weren't consistently hitting on her. I'm not. I'm not. I, I don't want to date her or anything. Jeez. You're not. Back. <laughs> What's up? Now we're talking about how you're um, always hitting you're on her. Yeah, hold. He told you. He told you to find something presentable to wear to the dinner. You guys have dinner with Vandermeer tomorrow night. <laughs> Um, Wait, why do she need practically to... pushed you off the boat. Why do we need oh, to find sweet. presentable things? Don't we have a circle of disguise? Well, it doesn't work yeah, apparently. Uh, she, yeah, apparently it doesn't work. Oh, Weren't you sorry. listening? I... maybe. I Wait, our circle doesn't, doesn't work anymore? Not, no, not in this just, setting. It just it's, doesn't work with this guy. It works, you can see through just it. not for that. Oh, okay. oh so oh, wait, okay. is, he, is this guy the only one that can see through it? I hope so. Oh god. Like, wear, like, ridiculous clothing underneath the illusion. Like, Christian. Oh, no, no. I'll, I'll be dressing in my normal, like, loincloth and, like, bones and feathers and shit. And war paint. Please, no. Yes. Because I'm, I'm an orc. Well, I guess I'm gonna go shopping, so... Who wants to go shopping? <laughs> yeah. I will go shopping with you. And Thomas, Let's... can I find my armor here? Your armor? Yes. <laughs> Roll me a percentile. A ten percent chance. A ten percent chance. I had a higher percent chance last yeah. time. You did. Oh wait. You're in a very remote part. Ten percent chance <laughs> and ten the times island. the cost. Whoops. Okay, maybe I shouldn't. Turning that on. 10% chance. Oh my god, computer. Alright, um, um also, 50 oh, to 60. You'll notice, uh, god damn it, every time. Every fucking time. Ooh, I'm so close. Ten off every time. <laughs> um, you'll notice that, uh, 
when you guys are being pushed off the boat, she will restrain the catfolk, your catfolk ninja. Not you, dearie. You're coming with me. And then they both teleport away. What the hell? We got no kitty now? Ouch. Wow, wow. Can't steal our cat. That's the only <laughs> stealthy person we really got, man. Well, I mean, you are okay. gaining an illusion. Okay. But who's gonna pick our locks? I have a Graham. You wanna <laughs> tell them what's going on? <laughs> yeah, for anyone who didn't see, um, I guess like at the dinner, essentially, you guys are going to meet my new character. I'm doing an inquisitor for Asmodeus because I felt like. Character goals fit the concept more, and I was feeling more or less like a mobile lockpick. So, <laughs> what do you think they <laughs> are, man? Works. A bit more that I can do. Uh, okay, now I understand. I want to be a rogue. Are still going to be a mobile lockpick, right? Maybe. I mean, I have a much shittier score now. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm joking. <laughs> now we gotta hire somebody after that. We gotta, we gotta outsource our lockpicking now. Well, we are. We are level <laughs> seven. Yeah, next level I'm getting a cohort. Level 6, dude. Yeah, we're yep. level 6 yep. currently. Next level yeah. will be level yeah. 7. Um, as each of you are shopping around to look decent, um, each of you roll me a d20. If one of you rolls the same thing as someone else, roll again. Oh yeah, Frank. Probably for rumors or something. Probably to see how good of gear we get. If like if we we think it's good, but it's actually shit. Or yeah, I just got a couple things to sell. So all right. Um, as each of you guys are going through town, uh, masculine, you will hear a rumor. Um, that Lord, Shell, or, uh, Lord Welshire may have gone to war, but at least Sir Valen still man's Castle Farthen. A knight of true noble blood he is. Why, they say he's the distant kin of the victor himself. Uh, Frank, the rumor you hear is Baron Vandermeer's a strange one. The elf hardly ever leaves his manor these days. Um, Damon, you will hear... On the northern edge of the Carabriar are those strange hills called the Cars. They say somewhere in those hills is a is a lost great treasure. Ooh. Um, and Kaizen, you will hear the old one the old one eyes back. He's half tiger, half devil, that old cat. Big as a house. Half battle cat? Oh my god. And uh, uh what the battle fuck? cat. Hey guys, we're going to keep man. this guy from hurting him. Oh, I have the, the power! By the power of Grayskull! Oh, I was, I was <laughs> thinking like Thundercats. Loser. You man are the masters of the universe. I said old one-eyes Where did you hear Battle Cat? Wait, what did you say? You said Battle Cat. I'm pretty sure this is actually just a really big thing. I said old one-eyes. thing, guys. Yeah, half tiger, half battle cat. You literally, you literally yeah. said half, half battle tiger, cat. half tiger, half devil. Oh, half man bear pig. Said <laughs> man bear pig. You really did say battle cat. Supposedly <laughs> big as a house. You said battle cat. <laughs> you said battle cat. <laughs> I said devil. See, even he agrees. You say said battle, battle cat. Man bear pig. Man bear pig. <laughs> Cereal guys. Um. All right. So, what are you guys <laughs> buying? Cereal what are you guys, guys? selling? <laughs> Just gonna get a, a formal outfit, I guess. Yeah. Formal. I want to buy a singular tie. That is it. All right. Um. Hmm. Would they have <laughs> okay. magic items here? Yeah, cause I, I got a couple sets of armor I need to sell as well, and put my order in for my new weapon. Also, I'm going to. So Thomas, do I do I find my armor? 
I also want to buy an alchemy kit. No, you didn't find your armor. No, I, I was I was relooking. You can buy an alchemy kit. Sweet. And then I'll spend uh Oh, I don't the see rest. your roll. I'll spend an hour making shit. What'd you say, Thomas? I mean I can re-roll if you don't see I said roll. I don't see your roll. Oh, okay, hang on, I'll re-roll. Yeah, you get a five percent chance this time. Five percent chance. What? Five percent? That's even less than last time. Fine. Uh sixty yeah. to sixty-five. God fucking damn it. I don't even ask. You did not find your armor. Uh, there? yeah, but you're forgetting you have to times that by six, though. Times that by six? Yeah. Oh, wait, that would still, still be outside no, of probably. what you said. No. Buy it. You Buy said it. How much is it? I said 61 to 66. Boom! <laughs> Five. <laughs> they have magic items here. What the fuck is that? As you're looking around, as you're looking around, you're gonna uh, see something in a window that looks like your armor. You gonna oh go towards God. it? Uh, yes, I'm going towards it. Um, alright, as you go inside and examine what you think to be the armor, it crinkles in your hand and just shows to be just a fake paper display model. For display purposes only. Fake paper display mod. I'm gonna ask yep. the shop owner what the fuck. Oh, he's gonna be like, yep, yeah, sorry, son. Just sold my last one about a week or two ago. Sold your last one. Last from the estate. Yep. Um, any news on the magic guy? Mm -hmm. in front? I was well, looking at yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, would they have a specific item? Jesus, or would they have to what was that? <laughs> I have no clue. Oh, but... Adam, the bag. Oh, sorry. That's me. But seriously, they need fucking. Thomas, I got the new 3DS. Fixed. Yes, no. And you do what? I didn't hear you. Is that is the User feedback fixed? Channel timed out. User entered your channel. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you're good. There's no feedback. All right. Um. Anyway, as I was saying, would they have a specific magic item, or would I have to roll for it? Um, just simple magic items. Alright, it's- I What are you looking, looking for? Uh, for a sleeves of many garments. It's 200 gold. What is that? Armor? It's, um, wrists. It's the wrist slot. It basically puts into any sort of clothing you want. <clears throat> oh, what's it called? So, uh, I'll get it for you. User in your channel timed out. Uh. 
User. User uh, entered your channel. Okay. So. I figured out why. Oh, forgot I was downloading World of Warcraft. Uh, <laughs> Good job. <laughs> like, literally, as soon as I paused it, everything went back to normal. That's probably why my ping was so high earlier on Gary's mod, because I forgot I was downloading it. <laughs> Please, with many, uh, many garments. Yeah, you'll be able to find it. Um, All right. Actually, give me a per give me a percentage. Um, what percentage? Uh, uh, 30. If no, uh, 45. 45%. Uh, All right, let's go from 20 to 65. Okay. What is this fucking insane uh, waiting uh, against fuck Brian? Nah, uh, you're not gonna be able to find it. Oh. All right, then just fancy clothing. How's the folly I'll try to okay. It's now not against Brian, my it's pain. just... Uh, there's supposed to be like a percentage chance for finding like specific magic items. All right, yeah, Frank, you'll be able to sell both of those fairly easily. Anyone else buying or selling? Uh, I might have some stuff to sell. Selling the premium hoe, one eight hundred Nihilus's mom. Um, All right. would they have basic weaponry here. Yeah. Come on, Adam. You know what's in the town. You've been in the town before. I didn't really spend much time in this town. Besides, it's a basic I had, town. <laughs> I had literally just gotten a new character, so I didn't want to shop here. Wow. Well, it's basic, it's it's an average town. It has general things. It has an armorer, it has a weapon master, it has right. a mage, it has an alchemist. You can get your basic items here. Okay, then. In that case, Masculine is going to get a scythe. Okay. I don't know how to use them, but I want one. I really wonder what Master. happened to that chick we had in our party. That's, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Getting a scythe? You are no, all I, getting I a came, scythe? Okay. No, I came in with a scythe that I don't know how to oh. use. So, but for the same purpose you're buying a scythe. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> they grow things. Yep. <laughs> we are just going to be like the Grim Reapers. Yep. Oh my god. Alright. Um... Alright, yeah, I will buy a scythe, which... I believe the price is... Hmm. Safe, safe, safety, safety, safety. It's 18 gold for... Oh, come on, that's, that sucks. Yeah, just 18 gold for a scythe. Okay. You know what, I'm gonna get a pickaxe. Much easier, much easier to explain. I'm just walking around with a fucking scythe. <laughs> How's it easier to explain a pickaxe? <laughs> I'm a miner. Yeah, but you, you can say you use the scythe to harvest. Yeah, the har gnomes, the gnomes. Are... Yeah, exactly. We're smaller, so we can get into all the like nooks and crannies and shit. Like, isn't that literally their lore? Like, they hang out with like no, that's dwarves. dwarves and mine. No, the gnomes um are people that explore everything interesting in life, or else they die. Ah. But are effectively immortal until the, then. Yeah, exactly. So long as gnomes keep being interested, they basically live as long as elves. Which is like a fuck ton of time. Exactly. Yeah. Alright, so anyone else buying anything? I don't think so. Uh, oh. Could I look for a pearl of power? Pearl of power. Just what arrows. What does that do? Uh, it lets me reuse... Oh wait, shit, I'm not a prepared caster. I can't use one of those. Never mind. <laughs> um. Could I? What? Us at the moment. Would I be able to find anything to boost my 
like an amulet of natural amulet of natural armor. Um, we find the amulet of protection or a ring of protection. We find a ring of protection plus one. Okay. Um, if that's everyone, uh, the next evening, um, you guys again rendezvous with Theodora. Uh, you'll notice she is bedecked brilliantly in all white, looking like a traveling noble on the way to her wedding. Um, she escorts you through the bustling dock city of Farhold, um, to the nicest part of town, a gently sloping hill called Caliber's Green. The gated community, and... She approaches the guard confidently. Van uh -huh. Vandermeer is expecting us, is all she says. Of course, my lady, this way. The somewhat nervous guard answers after consulting a list. Uh, you'll notice there are only six manors in this neighborhood. And this one is arguably Fuck the, the most impressive. The most impressive and opulent of them. Oh, I thought you said okay then. <laughs> and before you all enter, they stop you. No stranger may go before the Baron, so armed. And therefore, request that you leave all your weapons. <coughs> leave I just my weapons. Got and the pickaxe. They can request all they like, man. Yeah, I'm kind of with uh, that um, Does, Do the guards uh, know about At that door uh, turns around, leave your weapons here. Okay. Oh Where she wants. I'll just say whatever yeah. and drop my weapons. Don't kill me! I want to toss my scythe at the nearest guard. Okay. I'm going to quickly <laughs> examine my slate of hand score and then roll, do as they say. Thomas, roll a percentage. Uh, a percentage. It's like stabbed in the face. <laughs> <laughs> no. He grabs it, snatches it out of the air, and twirls it around, and then sets it on the ground. <laughs> Please, there is no fucking guard that is that useful. These like, guards are awesome. He's like a dude. There Skyrim are no guard. such things as useful guards. If he was a Skyrim Cause... guard, he would say the same preset thing like seven times to you, and then like <laughs> stab himself in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Or run into a wall as he tries to chase you. <laughs> yes, I have Although, been killed by Skyrim guards before. Um, so, Brian, you did buy a noble's outfit, correct? Or a lord's outfit, or... Um, if you have a sword at your belt, they'll allow you to have one sword. One sword? Not hey, two. So I can't have I bought a two. very noble-looking tie. Nah. You're lucky you're going to let you enter. aside from the tie? <laughs> Aside from the tie, no, I'm not wearing. Okay, fine. I'll take one of them. Then. Or pants. Um, are any of the rest can, of you can I roll looking a like nobles? To see if I can get my other one in. Or am I, I lucky said to I be getting this one in? Oh wait, never mind. Clothing. Yeah, you did. If you have a sword, you can keep it masculine. Can I keep a dagger? Sure. Well, I mean, a dagger is Sweet. like a sword size for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah fair enough. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're looking monk-like. Uh, yeah, they're gonna request that you leave all of your weapons. <laughs> you have to leave your fists behind. <laughs> Just cut Wait, off your Frank, hands. Wait, Frank, are you a monk? Oh, he's no, inquisitive. He's the, yeah. No, I was like, well, like, like, like a priest, like a religious, monk. Like a religious guy. <laughs> he's oh, he's okay. the champion of ivory. <laughs> he's a um he's a <laughs> western good. monk, not an eastern one. You're an anti-paladin, right? He's Born and bred, yeah. The disc yeah, champion okay. of Iori. I was like, what? <laughs> well, I mean, you can be the... Do you have to worship Iori to be the prestige class champion of Iori? I, uh, so. I hope It's not. probably some bullshit thing, but... Alright, so after... Just, after you, I don't see any reason why you couldn't punch people. things for Asmodeus. After you guys get through the doors, and leave your weapons, of course, um... You will be greeted 
uh, by a formal butler attended by a small squadron of servants who offer you brandy and hors d'oeuvres. Anybody going to take them? I'm going to drink uh, entirely yeah. too much brandy. Um, the brandy is sublime and the hors d'oeuvres are a selection of tasty little User beef skewers and crunchy spice crayfish puffs. I'll shove like stupid amounts into my face. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Just be like like food like dripping out of the side of my mouth. Like, That's really good. This <laughs> shit is dope, yo. The the butler servants are literally just gonna stand there with their hand out on the tray and just completely look straight ahead and not even acknowledge your existence. Gonna keep eating. Um eventually <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> I'll ask them I never more. would have guessed. <laughs> I do say, I do declare. Um, after eating all of the hors d'oeuvres, um, the butler is going to pass the tray to one of the servants. Take it back to the kitchen. Uh, if you find people, will come with me. He wa starts walking off. All right. All right, as long as you're getting more whore doves. How would you even make that mistake? You don't see... You haven't seen the word hors d'oeuvres written. <laughs> How? He is truly an impressive Quiet. specimen. Very cocky. User in your channel timed out. User oh. entered your channel. Oh, you hear that last part? <laughs> no. Uh, he's dressed he in burgundy and white. Looks quite young, even boyish. What? I'm gonna break him like a boy. The Baron. Huh? This is the Baron we're supposed to be meeting. Yep. I don't. Um, I don't see any. I still see the front gate open. Can I? Can I uh, detect? Yeah, uh, something. Detect something. Oh, you detect something already. Detect, detect good at will. You detect grass. Uh, nothing. Alright, so at least he's one of us. <laughs> I mean, he's friends with the Cardinal. <laughs> you really think he'd be good? Well, to find friends. Like frenemies? Um, as you guys sit down, he snaps his fingers and a bunch of servants come out with trays and serve dinner. I'm gonna. I'm like, wait. We must. We must consecrate this meal. I don't know what that means. Everybody, hold hands and pray. Yeah, say grace. Oh. <laughs> Have you all? As you all pray after you finish your prayer. Oh, Mitra, we hope to see you soon. <laughs> Asmodeus is great. Asmodeus is good, and we thank him for this food. <laughs> um. Uh, as you all finish your prayer. Uh, the Baron becomes Frank. Come to me as beggars. The last remnant. He becomes of Frank. Faith. No, I'm oh Frank. God, no. <laughs> <He is> Frank. <laughs> you all. Come to me as beggars. The last remnants of forbidden faith. You promise me much of. You will promise me much of that. I have no doubt. But all that I am that I am likely to earn from helping you is the Inquisitor's pyre. Tell me, why should I help the likes of you? Because it's cold as shit here, and I hear pyres are warm. Is that literally what we're gonna say? That's all I got. I would suggest letting. Give me a second. Talk. Yeah. Might uh, might I'm, might I suggest, sir? Um, you a savage into my home. Hey. Hang on. I gotta talk. We don't know if God that's what we it. actually wanted to talk or not. Yeah. I'll point at him angrily and be like, "I got a tie, God damn it!" Forgive you, sir. We, well, as I, you say, yes. Dude, he's just talking. Oh my god. God damn <laughs> it. What the fuck was that? You know exactly what that was. I know what it was. So how's your family, you know, <laughs> how, how's your family <laughs> fared here amongst these Mitran folk? <laughs> Tell me, Baron, how is your family done here under the, the thumb of the Mitran folk? None of your business. So let me guess, not as good as it could have been. 
Yes, yes, we'll promise you everything. We'll promise you the world to get your cooperation. But, you know, just think about this. Have you been better or worse under the last administration? Why are we letting him talk? Because I smash things good. Because I hey, smash. you don't even hey, hey, smash hey. things. Uh, 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 give me, give me diplomacy. Holy shit! Right. Oh, wait, that was Frank talking. While I may hate how serious, it's still not... I still don't think helping you would be in my best interests. We don't need a lot of help, just a little bit to keep us on the down low. What do you have to say, little gnome? Well, sir, could you explain exactly why you don't want to help us? Cardinal, mm. Cardinal I, Thorne said no, he, would, he, no. was, he would be very disappointed when the if he didn't took help over, us. They all but wiped out all of Asmodeus' followers. My family was one of them. Well, obviously they didn't wipe all of your family. So, so many of my friends stripped of title and fortune and burned at the stake for helping the likes of you. I lost mother. Well, we didn't do that. They did that. The Mitrin people oh, did. Oh, oh. Too well of the cost of being associated with you, with Cardinal Thorne and your ilk. Indeed I do. And yet, I am a part of this group. Would you like to know why? Okay, is it me that's lagging? Or is no, it I think it's him. Yeah, it's uh, Nihilus. It's really? Nihilus lagging really hard. Switch back to your better internet or something. Yeah, Tom Stop downloading your porn, screen. dude. Am I back? Am I good? Am I lagging? You're back. You're better. Alright. Alright, um, so what, <laughs> what was the last thing that we were able to understand? Um... Mm -hmm. he's... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thomas, <laughs> can I say this? Just cause. Oh my god. Got to erase the... <laughs> um, at that... <laughs> <laughs> be like, exactly, that it's the precise reason I do not want to help you. In Last my time, tribe. The last time any of my friends helped the Asmodean faith, they were burned at the stake and stripped of all their titles and property. Let me tell you. In my tribe, when so I you come lost, from, you lost possessions. They lost and their lives. In my tribe, tell where me. I come from, if people kill your family, you return the favor. And if you hide, you are what we call so again, no, a vagina. So again, I ask you, what do you want? What can you say? Can I just intimidate him? We offer you vengeance. What I want? I want your help. As for what I can say to convince you, well, you've already picked the losing side in a conflict. And tell me, has news of Balantine reached you? Hmm? Was that his response? <laughs> what would you say? Mm -hmm. what? what? Has news of Valentine reached him? I've heard of it. What about it? Have you heard what's recently happened there? I heard a um, horde of bugbears overthrew it. Aye. A horde of bugbears, but. The Forgive strength me. that we have gained through Pat. No, shut up, I'm talking. 
aren't bugbears rather disorganized? Aren't they unintelligent? How could mere bugbears take the Great Wall of Valentine? I've heard they had help. I heard, I'm sure uh, Thorn then plays his part in this. Exactly. They had help. If lowly bugbears could take the Great Fortress with help, imagine what... How many are we? Five? Yeah. Imagine what five operatives of the... Of the what we call the nine knots. Imagine what five operatives of the nine knots could do with the help of one even more powerful than they. Mm. And if Valentine is able to fall, <coughs> well, the Mitri well, all of Talengard is vulnerable. Tell me. Do you want to be on the losing side once more? Diplomacy. All right, but I would say that's yeah, diplomacy. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Charisma. Very well. I will help you. Of course. You're a smart Sorry. man. I knew you. Dude, masculine like getting badass all of a sudden. Dude, masculine has always been badass. He's just been hidden behind. It. See, this is what I said. He is Cicero. So here's what I will do. I will I... fuck him with it. Stop clicking! I can provide you with accommodations. A safe house, if you will. <laughs> Leading okay. from my house to a... Um, Small home at the base of this hill. I don't know if you saw it on your way up. You may or may not have. But I have a tunnel that runs to it. You can come and go at your will without anyone knowing you were here. Second, I can grant you some legal help. So long as you're not caught red handed in some heinous deed, my word should do the trick to get you out of it. But Perfect. no, I will not be so willing to do so for very long. Got it. No of mass course. murder. No. Of course. We will save that. We will leave that to the bugbears. Third, I have contact among some of the shadier merchants who operate in and around Farhold. I can give you some access to poison and other sinister magical items. Though this... Though there are... Of course. Four. I am not too. Sh I'm pretty shabby myself in the enchantment school, and and a fair negotiator. Did you need someone bribed or persuaded? I should be able to do the trick as well. What I will not do, on the other hand, is I will not help you in your main in your main task. I will not go to the Horn of Abaddon. I will help you not fight your battle. I have no desire to see to die in some cursed demonic temple. Yeah, you sound like kind of a pud anyways. No offense. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> believe me. We'll leave the dying in demonic temples to our enemies. <laughs> and with that, uh... He eats his dinner, and I assume you all eat your dinner as well. He mutters. Not, he doesn't really say much more. And after that, Theodore escorts you all out. You all get your weapons back. You all eat your dinners. Make a fort save. <laughs> <laughs> Immunity disease. Not, Not poison. poison. And, and as you all are leaving, 
As you all are leaving, don't forget that tablet we gave you. Break it when you need to speak with the master. Be sure not to waste his time. He can be most unforgiving about that. Uh, yes. Mm. Don't forget the, the seventh I knot. Timed out. The seventh knot is already close at hand. They arrive tomorrow on a river barge named the Lucky Lady. We should probably meet them and come up with a plan for seeing our masters well done. It does not matter to me, of course. Not User my problem. Goodbye, dearies, and good luck. And with that, she Please. teleports away. Like the fucking wicked witch of the west. Goodbye, my dearies. <laughs> <laughs> also, did we meet the Inquisitor? Yeah, you met him. <laughs> I assume you yeah, got your party now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good job, guys. <laughs> uh, you guys will notice that uh, there's <laughs> the man just follows you out. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> Who is we have a this pet one? Would I know him? Since I was, like, part of a different, uh... Not first. Or is he like fresh out of the uh... He, he got promoted from JV to the varsity team. Thomas, you here? Oh, apparently not. Cool. Hello? Sure, maybe we knew each other from a different... <laughs> Why is everyone dropping? My internet is kind of constantly shit. I don't know about everyone else. You don't hear me right now? Yep. I can. I can hear you. Like, say, it's not... It's not showing that I'm talking on Teams. You are. Oh, well. That's weird. So I guess we hang out until Yeah, well tomorrow. let's talk to the so, so let's wait. Talk to the, the guy. So what are we doing? We just have to go into this cave and find this thing. Yeah. yeah basically. Well first we have to yeah, sort of. Don't we have to go to the barge first or whatever though? Does, does that tomorrow? Right. I so so tomorrow we just meet this group of people, then we go into this cave and then we find this thing. We we link up with Mifrape again. That's okay. That's pretty simple. I was like coming after like Bale and Dean where you have to do all this shit. Where you just like yeah. go to this cave and find a thing. Like that's that's awesome. We okay. find a MacGuffin yeah, and then we slay the dragon <laughs> and rescue the princess. It's a lot easier. Okay. Maybe all we have to do is find a thing? What the hell is this for I'm peasants? Sure this is going to be as easy as we just go somewhere and find a thing and it's like, well, that's it, guys. Let's go find some demon guy and take his plague. That works. That hey, works nah, ain't nothing, that. dude. He's a, isn't he a demon? He's a da he's a demon. Like, so, Damon? like the Damon, Damon. Like, like, Damon. Me. Like, to, like me, a Damon. Yeah, like a D A E. No, no. When, it, when you add the A, they become more chaotic. It's this one. It's it's Damon. Oh, he's a Damon. Yep. A name. E in there, isn't it? I thought it was D A E. So, uh, one of the rumors we had was like the Briar or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, one of the one is how you spell my actual name. One of the rumors was about the briar or something, right? Something what? like that. That and uh, a half cat, half paddle cat. So oh, yeah, so what is battle the point cat. of these rumors? Like, probably give us somewhere to go. Our only objective is to find the thing right in the cave. We gotta find the cave first, I think. Oh, so we don't know yeah. what the cave is. No. It's in yeah, that presumably big, like... we're going to be exploring some and operating yeah. out of here it's like for a all while. we know it, don't all we know it's like it's like a day away from did, yeah didn't they mention that it was in like the horn of something that, no the horn is what we're trying to find because we have to Air find it Briar, get... which is the biggest uncharted forest in like Talonguard. that's it that's... so there aren't maps but there's not a hundred guards waiting to kill us right I don't think so no, this there's is like a Z there's like a hundred giant bears ready to kill us. And a half battle cat thing. Yeah, and we, a half battle cat. We have grumbles with us, dude. We're good. Do we have grumbles with us? I, I feel like we left him. I feel like we always have grumbles with us. He's always there if we need him. 
he's, he's always there in soul. Except, except now, because he kind of sold his soul to Asmodeus so he could come back. That and Masculine is probably willing to drop leadership to keep him as a cohort if absolutely necessary. Yeah. Well, someone probably needs to take leadership. Oh, I, I mean, everyone would take leadership if they could. I choose uh, Masculine. Uh, uh, yeah, I got me. it. I have a minus two to my charisma. I, I require it. additional... Or my diplomacy. Additional witches. No. Yes. Yeah, I have a minus two to... In my intelligence. Minus no. one to my um, wisdom. Let's see, our Inquisitor is going ranged, right? Yes. Alright then, Frank and Kaizen will be our front line. We will have two casters, a front line, and an archer. The cohort will be a bard. Or grumble deck. Sorry. <laughs> I'll make Rubble Jack uh, a bard. He could he could actually be a decent battle bard. This is the song of Smash. <laughs> exactly. The um arcane duelist. Yes. I think he's already a barbarian though. No no, make him a scald. Oh, the uh, barbarians. Yes. That would actually work really well because if I'm correct, both of our frontliners don't aren't like Magi or shit that need to cast in battle. Oh, I, can, I, I can do touch attacks and that's about it. No, but like, you can't, you can use touch attacks while you rage, but you can't cast while you rage. Scalds make the, other people rage with their bard song. Okay, I'm back. Any spell casting I would do would be done before battle. All right. Oh, and I'll We'd... love our frontliners forever if we flank things, because I get bonuses. Oh, do you have the thingamajig that lets you range flank? I don't range flank, but I benefit from other people flanking it. Right, yeah, that's what I mean. The, I played a Archer Inquisitor once. Um... Alright, so... Alright, um... Brian, the Brent, say hi. What? The rents are the too rents. damn high. <laughs> That's what I was gonna rents. say. The rents say. too damn high. <laughs> the rents say hi. Hi. My parents. Oh. <laughs> parents. Oh, Jeez. parents. Okay. <laughs> Tell them I said hi as well. Okay. Um. Anyways, uh, the seventh knot arrives the next day. Um. These are the people we met, like, way, way back when, right? What you guys met? And Mifray. Yeah, they yeah. How many of us... How many of the original party are still here? Uh, Masculine... Oh, yeah, Masculine. Frank is still <laughs> the same person. His backstory just got changed around. Yeah, Frank is still the same. <laughs> Frank so, just uh, had about it. crisis. Yeah, no, I, so, there were too many people complaining about Throm being overpowered. Uh, I'm you... just gonna... Throm is raping oh, and pillaging his way across Talonguard. Maybe we'll see him again someday. Oh, we will. Oh, and Grumblejack is with you as well. Oh yeah, Grumblejack was original. OG. Oh, he wasn't a PC, though. <laughs> yeah, but that's not that important. Yeah, he's he's OG. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love him. But they're getting married in June. Um, as you guys <laughs> uh, see the bar their barge approaching, you'll see Viserys and Elise, um, and their oh, compatriots. And Mifrape on the another, barge. There's another original PC. Yep. Yeah, it's Mifrape on the barge. And do what? Frank, it's Mifrape. Where's Mifrape? Um, uh, Mifrape on the barge. is now, actually, Mifrape is, um, looks to have grown wings. Oh, fuck. And, and has his... changed to black. So, is... does he get a flying... And, and he runs to me, right? No, he's clinging to, uh, Viserys on the shoulder. He doesn't even know you, Brian. <laughs> Never know. I could have met him on the battlefield. Um. 
Viserys will be the first to speak up as uh, he sees you all. Ah, masculine. Frank, my old friends. Hey. How have you been? Yeah, don't uh, say hi to me. Don't, don't worry. Well, you Much know, just changed, Viserys. Just, just killing things. You know how things go. Ah, uh, yes. You all. I remember that very well. Our little prison break from Brandis guy was fairly fun. Oh, indeed it was. I'm gonna look at him and just be like, <laughs> So is Ballantine. Yo, who's this knife ear prick? What? And this is Viserys. He was one of the original party that disembarked with us. Uh, that escaped with us, rather. That escaped from Ballantine. He was one of the oh, original Oh, is this the, the pussy that you said, like, just ran away? But he's yes. got he's got myth rape though. Oh, what a coward. Are you guys like legitimately saying that? Yeah. I don't know who he's talking about. Um. Viserys, Viserys is my dog. <laughs> I'm gonna do the fist bumps well, and stuff, you know. Viserys is gonna blatantly give you a very hostile, give the orc a very hostile orc. I wouldn't expect uh, He's gonna one give him such, a very hostile such as orc. your spe one such as your species to understand the complications. Of your what happened? Grubble smash. I don't understand much. Just how to wreck shit. Basically, all I know. And then he's gonna. He's gonna see Grumble behind you, and he's gonna be like, "Ah, Grumble, Jack, my old friend." And Grumble's gonna be like, "Hello." <laughs> and um, he's actually gonna pick up Viserys and um, set him on his shoulder. And he's gonna be like, "Grumble, Miss Viserys." And then. Viserys will laugh and say, yes, I missed you too, Grubble. And he'll jump down and go back to standing next to a leaf. All right, so shall we go somewhere a little bit more private to discuss our business? Uh, well, at, at, after saying that, you're going to notice there's not really anyone around anyways. <laughs> should, should, we get, should we go get the thing in the cave with the stuff? Yeah. Do you know where the thing in the cave is? The th stuff and the thing? And the demons? Talking about the horn? Yeah, that thing. You know where it is? Mm. I don't well, know where it's at, but I know the last uh, knot that tangled with it hasn't been heard from since. Yeah, was it, his name was Aiden or something? Oh mm. god, that Aiden Kale. Well, the last he was not that tangled with it. So if he wasn't... Uh, <laughs> thank you. Do we know where he was staying, or you know, maybe he had some kind of like clues or something? Uh, I do not yeah. know. Okay, uh, is there like an inn or something, or a bar, or a hotel or something where like he might have stayed around here, oh, looking hotel. around? I just, I just got here the same as you all. I know, just, just brainstorming no out loud, idea. you know, brain vomiting. Um, at that, um, after. Uh, then Elise will pipe up. Um, I should, might as well let you, you all know. Uh, it is our intention over the next few months to have spies set up in every inn, tavern, and anywhere else. Adventurers and explorers might congregate. When you do find the horn of Abaddon, contact us. For those groups I can't personally dis that we can't personally dispatch, we'll send a messenger with any information I can gather. User in your channel timed out. So we just wait for like two months? For you to give us some word, we gotta find it first, man. We gotta find a thing in the cave, remember? Right, but is that not what they're looking for with their spies? What are their spies for? They're, they're, we are here to keep anyone from coming to you. Well, you're our backup. That's awesome, bro. Oh, cool. Mm. So you gonna yes. come, come kill shit in the cave with us? That is your task. I'm is to stay in town. Well, that's awesome. I don't. Uh, okay. You guys are pretty useless. Have fun chilling in taverns for like two months. We're gonna go wreck shit. Don't die. Dark. I yeah. apologize. Don't play on it. Well, he's very thromish. 
All right, let's find out where this Aiden guy was mm. staying, so we could probably like you know. Yeah. See what's going on. Let's go do something productive while these guys sit in a tavern for like two months. Um, at that, uh, you guys will go your separate ways. Mithrape will fly over Masculine, give him a lick on the face, and then fly back to Viserys. He just got Miff raped. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, like, do we have a description of this dude? Nope. We just go ask around, like, hey, you seen a guy named Aiden? Or we ask the Baron to see what he knows. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, the Baron will tell you he knows nothing. Okay, where are the hotels around here? There's an inn. Well, uh, sh well, shit, let's go. Yep. We walk up in, in the inn. Where'd Graham go? Um, as you all enter the inn, uh, the looks fairly underpopulated. The barkeep will be like, hello, gentlemen, how can I help you? Hey, we're uh, looking for a gentleman named Aiden. See, you guys really should have just asked <laughs> Thorn about Aiden. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I haven't heard of it. Well, he's about yay tall, and he looked like this, and he was kind of like this, and he did this kind of stuff. Have you, have you seen you a know? ranger? You like? Have you seen a ranger? You know, a guy right, with a bow? There's many rangers that come through here. Strider. Uh, name all of them in their specific locations in alphabetical order. I can't do that. I will murder your family. But I don't know. I don't know their names or where they were going. Oh, goodness. Why do I let you talk? Intimidation score. I will murder your family. Hey, not now. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's gonna, like, visibly piss himself. Really? With a 16? <laughs> He's a fucking gominer. <laughs> He's gonna be like, oh, please, please no, sir. Tell uh, where Maskin... all the rangers are. I, I don't Maskin know. Is gonna, Maskin's gonna be good cop. Um, sort of <laughs> <laughs> step, in, step between the um, <laughs> witch and the commoner and mutter. I'm sorry, he's more orc than half, if you know what I mean. Ah, uh, uh, but uh, please, sir. Uh, don't worry, he's hot. Well, he's not hot. My mother was a he's... slave. Yes, it shows. He's under control. My father was a war chief! <laughs> I thought she was a slave. My father. Your father was a slave? No, he's a war chief. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I need to think of like what to ask this guy, but I'm just like dying <laughs> over here. Is there anyone recently through town who is interested in mapping out certain sections of the forest? Ah, uh, yes, I think there was one guy. Who? Oh. He stayed here a few months ago. Um, he actually hasn't been back since. His room's available now if you want to take a look. Or a few. That. Ah, uh, hmm, a fee. Well, I generally let the half-orc pay, but maybe we could, um, make a deal. I ain't got snow coins. Ex oh, it, 
I meant like you pay by beating people up. Oh. Uh, five gold and everything in the room is yours. Everything in the room. Okay, petty bribery is apparently the way to go in this town. Uh, I'm sorry, we are travelers. We don't have that kind of wealth. How about one gold? Sorry, right, no can do. <sighs> what a shame. Oh, I'm murder of family! Well, here's a damn five gold, jeez. God damn it, I'm trying to <laughs> bilk this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so are, are we actually going to pay him? Yeah, I paid him already. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, thank you, sir. Uh, his room is up, <laughs> second floor, third door on the left. Excellent. Thanks, mate. Let's go up there and freaking search this bitch. <laughs> this, this good cop, bad cop routine is perfect. I like it. <laughs> Because the only, uh, the only, it's like, really talking more just thing the that I'm sensible cop and the cop that wants to murder your family, but... <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I also want to murder your family. The only thing that's not a zero, uh, that's talking-wise is intimidate. So... <laughs> and that's the only social skill, well, that's the only, um, social skill besides sense motive that I don't have maxed. Yes, together we are one. And then, I'm assuming the Inquisitor will have our sense motive next. I have fairly high sense motive, intimidate, diplomacy, and bluff. Oh right, you're conversion, aren't you? Yes. That is a good, um... It was nice and thematic for what, what we're doing, so... There was another really good one that I will try to find. Um, what was it? Tactics? I'm looking at that one. Uh, Anyways, let's give people go to this room. But yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's <laughs> see what he's got in his room. So we own the bed and the dressers and pretty much everything in it now. Sweet. <laughs> All right. We should like chop it up into little pieces before we leave. No, it's ours. Right, but we're not gonna be staying here. <laughs> I could keep things in the dresser, and just carry it around on my back. I'll do that. Yes, Brian? Alright. Um, we'll Brian. check under the bed. Hold, hold on. I'm trying to find where it's at in this book. Ah, the hair. Inside the room, you'll find um, a map to the horn laying on a table weighed down under a common dagger. Um, beside, besides a few worthless personal effects, um, under the bed you'll find some emergency funds, 132 gold, and mixed coinage. Yee. Yeah. Monies. Uh, was it 132? Yep. Alright, I am actually keeping the... Thomas. Yeah. What? Okay, thank you. I've been like, no one has answered me for like the past five minutes. Because we haven't heard We didn't hear you. I know, that, that's what I was saying. Like, I was trying to see if you guys can hear me, and then... We can now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, Thomas, how close are we to the other zombie party? What? What? How close are we to getting to where Tom and Tommy would say you guys? I cannot understand a word you are saying. It sounds like you're really far from the mic. The hell? Yeah. 
Can you hear me now? Yeah. There yeah. You go. Um. Yeah, we going in this guy's room? Yeah, we went in. He has a map straight from the horn. About a hundred gold, which someone already wrote down, a common dagger, and yep. anything else. Well, welcome to five minutes ago. Sorry, I was pretty actually tied trying to figure out why my head does something. Fine. Actually, I was thinking about it, and I heard you had to go for a minute. Oh, butt fucks. I just um realized we have a lot of shit to sell in the um party loot. Oh, oh nice. God. Who is yelling? I remember. User in your channel time down. Um, all right. Well, so with finding all of that, you guys going to head towards the horn. Uh can we yeah, if if User you're going to allow us to up. God damn it. Um can we just quickly sell the shit in the I thought so. Yeah. did. Alright, it's it's just, um... You know what, I'll sell it afterwards. Uh, I mean, I'll find the prices and shit afterwards. Alright. Uh, did, did anyone take the plus one heavy shield from the paladin? I did. Alright, then I will remove that from there. Oh, no, sorry, I thought you meant, like, did someone just grab it. No, keep it in the party loot. Okay. Yeah, it's not very useful for me, because the heavy wooden shield's a better option. Yeah, I, oh, wait. I, I do a wield, so. Don't you need a light shield to lay on hands? No. Don't you have to have a hand free? No. no. Nope. I'm... You don't. No, you can, like, just use. I don't know. I've never had that issue. I don't know. I'm assuming my hand turns awesome by just smacking yeah. with it, you know? Uh, no, you do need a free hand. No, this is... Oh god. Okay, what the f Nihilus Christ. is this? Nihilus, that okay. is you. Nihilus. Nihilus. What? Stop. You just god had like damn. massive what? static and noise and shit. So really bad. Bad. I don't know. I've been using the shield ever since, so I don't really know. I've just been going with it. Well, I mean. All you need to do is go through and then the reset. All right, so you guys headed towards the horn now. Yep, -er. uh, you yeah. have a map. Seems like a plan. Sure, why not? Can you can you show us the map? Like in a handout or something? Yes, I can. Oh, it's an hour. Five percent. There you go. There's your map. New victory, my sweet. Could you imagine if we actually had to walk over this entire damn jungle area to find this map forest so. thing? I mean, that would have been a pain in the ass. And that is about what it looks like. Um, but, man, he knew exactly where the horn was too. Why didn't he just get it? For real. Yeah. I think you got killed. Well, I mean, yeah, he probably also got if you stuck. if you went to go get it, like, why did he leave his map? User in your channel. I don't know. Something Shay is going on. Wait, that's Sky is not. Never mind. <laughs> okay, better not to question. All right. So if that's where the Horn of Abaddon is, then we start up. So we're heading through the Carebriar. Oh God. Like, about User how far is that? Channel. Oh wait, an inch is a quarter mile. I, I don't see where your map is. It's on the, um... <laughs> like, open rule 20. Yeah? Oh, you're, you're a GM, aren't you? What? Wait. Hold up. It's I, not see, I see it, dude. Yeah, we're, it's, it's, it's on, on the screen no, we're on, dude. It's a map. 
it's you have to go to the thing that the rest of us. Are oh doing. shit! Okay. The scene doesn't transition for you automatically. No. Can can you Sorry, just be I a player to rejoin this player? Yeah. I can't devote myself. But. Uh, I think if you. No, leave I the can't campaign, demote either. What if you leave the campaign and then get invited back in? Uh, I can't leave the campaign without disbanding it. Can't yeah, you can't you package it. it up and like save it? Are you are you a mentor or whatever? Um, because then because yeah. you you can export the campaign and then you know. But then I would have to start it back up. Yeah. Oh, because he isn't. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm a mentor. Don't worry about it, man. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh well. I'll be right back. So we're we're going south, and the Horde of Abaddon's in this tree. Yes, Abaddon himself is in that very tree. Tweet. Big tweet, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so we yes. go this way, take a stop over here, burn these farmland to the ground for yolos, and then go this way. <laughs> he thought it was funny. <laughs> Apparently, he did. Oh, you're so funny. You're so funny. So kawaii. So kawaii. So kawaii senpai. Too kawaii to live, too segoi to die. Oh my god. Check my, uh, my <laughs> <can> speak. <laughs> oh god, I can't do this. Alright, so as you guys get close to the horn... Oh. Mm. It's I a set tree. fire to whatever that is. It's an int. I set, I set fire to the, the tree ant. And as you all approach to the tree ant. You have happened <laughs> upon the whoredom of Baden, a place once of great corruption. It is my sacred charge to see that evil make never again take take root here. Is this tree just talking to us? <sighs> There's uh, no evil here. Now. There's no evil here, bro. We're just here to have drinks. Mm. Have drinks. If you are not evil, ah! still be gone. We cannot allow this cursed place to taint you. We're just uh, trying to like make it so like it's even harder to find. Sorry, bro. I don't think a tree is going to be telling me what you do. Initiative. I'm gonna make some kindling <laughs> here. I'm gonna make some kindling. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna kick over a sapling that's right next to me and like stomp it in the ground. Oh, do something, boss. Oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> I, I just killed your cousin. I killed your cousin, bro. So, are any of you gonna actually like try and talk to him or are you just gonna fucking open out and pack him? Just gonna fucking kill him. Yeah, just fuck him up. It's a tree. I'm gonna, gonna talk to a tree dude. about. Man. Unless we could get him to join us, that'd be pretty cool to have a tree in. Yeah, he doesn't seem like he's open to negotiation. He sounds like he's not Thomas, a is there a possibility? We're not good, Phyllis. What? To, to get him to join us. In a way. There's, there is a way? Anything is possible, Brian. Should we threaten know, him with someone? fire? Think? Does anybody have fire? Can we threaten him with fire? Ah, uh, where's Do we have... fires of the character when we need them? Yeah. I can light my arrows killer? on fire for a number of rounds. There you go. Start pelting them with fire arrows and be like, Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you telling him to stop it? <laughs> stop being pelted <laughs> by arrows! Stop being a tree! In our way! <laughs> that, that we could literally just walk around. I like to imagine that this is a talking tree, but he can't move, so we just like, stuck <laughs> in that one square. He's like, don't you get by me. <laughs> we're just like, do, 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 do. <laughs> No one can you pass stop me. It. So don't get try. Back here. <laughs> Boldly, I um, had legs. While you guys are talking, I'm just gonna. Uh, Drink this mutagen. Get something spinning out of there. 
Is this Whoa, tree place, Thomas? Uh, can you detect good? I can at will. So can I. I will it to be detected. Um, he detects good, yes. Okay. Sounds Burn! Good. I'm still waiting on the people to add their initiatives. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. Just got back. Sorry. I do not have a token. Yeah, oh, Masklin's you back. Didn't... Okay, maybe Masklin yeah. can talk some sense into the party. This, what are we uh, doing? Basically, our our approach... response to Giant Tree is kill it with fire. As you guys begin approaching the horn, Masklin, um, a treant is going to appear out of the forest. And it says, and he says, you have happened upon the horn of Abaddon. A cursed place once of great corruption. It is my sacred charge to see that an evil never again takes root here. Go now, so that I may ensure poor never corrupt anyone ever again. Alright, Masculine is going to... He is has good, the rest of the party. He is good. He is good. He is Aren't good. Uh, Masculine so you know. is going to... Step forward in front of the party, bow to the tree, and say, uh, Greetings, noble guardian. Your, at your efforts are admirable, but fortunately, they will no longer be needed. For we have been Hold sent there. to destroy. Hold there. Uh, give me a sense motive. Oh. Oh. Just me or everyone? Anyone. Anyone means everyone. Someone who's good at it. I have a minus one. Never mind. Aiden. I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> I'm All right, three. Aiden. Aiden's pretty good at it. Um, <laughs> Aiden's gonna know that you guys th that he is not impervious to deceit. If you perhaps claim to be seeking a lost friend or something like that, he may even help you. So I'm going to quietly whisper that, uh, yeah, he's a. He's extremely gullible. What you're saying? Uh, hey, we we had a buddy named Aiden. He got lost here. Wait a second. Is the Inquisitor's name Aiden? Yeah, yes. that was just a really awkward coincidence. <laughs> God yeah, damn. I was a little, I was a little confused by that, but I just kind of figured it was a coincidence. <laughs> All right. Um, in that case, All right, so, masculine. So continue. <laughs> but fortunately, no longer needed, for we have been sent by the Mitran Church. Oh shit. Uh, for we, yeah, not, not that. For we have been sent to destroy the horn, lest its power and influence, uh, grow. No, I'm sorry. Oh, we're basically, um, we were sent here to destroy the horn, lest its power grow. Hmm. That we're looking for our friend. Oh, yes. Hmm. I may be able to help you find this friend, but, I, but be warned, I know the followers of Mitra once tried to destroyed the horn. Alas, they could not, and only placed a great seal. What kind of seal? I don't know the purpose of it, but only to keep the, the evil at bay. But see, sir, the seal has weakened over time. It and, the, and those who once would have cast it have... Well, they are no longer capable of doing so. Thus it falls to us to deal with the threat. Hmm. Very well. Come with me. Follow me! See, did you want- did you really want to kill the tree? Kinda. Kind of. I don't really want to die. Cause it's gonna- it's gonna come back to fight us. At some point, and next time there might be other things there to help it. But we might be level up. We, we might level up then, though. I 
feel like they don't, but I don't know. Actually, <laughs> I could probably roll to figure that out. It's a giant tree. Tree sleep. <laughs> Lazy fucking trees. Channel. You don't know what a tree does, Thomas, on its spare time. Yeah. It does tree things. Exactly. You're not a tree, so you don't know what it does. But, um, as you guys are walking, I do this know... This place looks nice. Um, I've... I know of late, there's been a Boggard tribe recently taken root into my horn, into this horn. Hmm. Maybe you could potentially, maybe you could help me clear them out and maybe we could find your friend. Damn Boggards. Boggards. They will fall before us, don't worry. Being all boggery. We can always use more minions, I mean, yes. Max. I do have a question for you, good sir. Well, first. Did he ever give us his name? Woody. I am Jurok the Eldest. Uh, Jurok? Or Drock? Jurok the Vote! You are AK. The Vote, right. don't Jurok the Vote. Well, Jurok. Are you the sole guardian of the horn? Yes. Give it. Yeah. What I about friends? You need Oh, User do in they the channel, time down. take over when you need to, say, sleep? I've had a friend Watch for many years that is, channel. that is, played, that has been, that has helped me guard the place. Her name is oh. Callista. Callista. Callista Flocker? Callista Shanda. Oh. And who is this Callista? All I know is she is a, a beautiful black skinned elf with long flowing blonde hair and a dry. and. Uh, yeah. A beautiful black what elf? A black elf. Black skinned oh. elf. With blonde hair. So, she's, she's a, a drow. drow. I do not know. Uh, I love how you both said that, like, perfectly <laughs> in sync. Right. Like, even over the fucking microphones, with the delay and everything, it was still <laughs> <Yeah>. perfectly in sync. <laughs> right? Uh, well. Does she live in the town User or the in forest? Your channel. Time down. User entered your channel. She lives in the forest. I do not know where. Hmm. She comes hmm. when I call. I see. Well, if the horn turns out to be more dangerous than we believe, we may need her help. Would you call her for us, if such a necessity were necessary? I've actually already spoken with her. <laughs> oh? <laughs> Within He's the... actually older than me. He's a tree. <laughs> Within the time of meeting us? Yes. Oh, you speak swiftly, friend. The trees have tree. ears. They do? Well, that, um... I'm gonna ask the tree if he I must have a conversation with the forests. <laughs> um, you're gonna know speak with plants is quite a common thing for trees. Okay. So he communicated uh, via cranberries? There are no cranberries in this forest. What the fuck? Thomas, this was the perfect opportunity. And you blew it. He right, sees cranberries, cranberries, remember? Cranberries are like water He's going fruits. insane. <laughs> He's going insane though. He sees cranberries everywhere. <laughs> Is that you know, I, cranberries like, I'm pretty sure all of my characters are going mentally insane right now. Do what, Adam? Cranberries grow in bogs. Yep. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I have You're not in the bog. 
Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. Well, wait. Why are boggards here? Exactly. You haven't gotten to the horn no. yet. No. Did the uh, boggards go out of cranberries out? near the boggards? <laughs> boggards and cranberries they go hand in hand. Exactly. Boom. Where there are boggards, you all... there are cranberries. <laughs> yeah, cranberries grow in the boggards. Oh, oh no! Wait, no. No, no, they do not. Don't you dare ever say that again. Because I just remember what boggards are. No, you don't <laughs> want cranberries growing inside them. <laughs> He'll stop you at Those the edge are... of the forest before you reach the the base of the horn and point out there's their cave. I say we recruit them. Well, I yeah, agree. Well, not in front of the tree. Yeah. We'll well, just no, go he with... just wants us to get the, get the boggards out of their land. So right. if we get do it peacefully, I think he would like that even more. Thank you, good jerk. All, all we all we have to say is that we're sending sending them somewhere where they can uh, use their skills for you know a better purpose. Or we just lie to him because he's a tree. <laughs> yeah, I mean seriously, I I haven't had to roll a bluff for this entire time. And I say we figure out what's going on here. Halfway. Kill who we have to kill, and then just tell the tree whatever he wants to hear. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right. So, He's pretty um, much believed you this entire time. You haven't needed to bluff. I know. Uh, all right. So, um, are we at this. the mouth of the cave? Yeah, you're at the edge of the forest before the cave opens up. Can we see these two ugly motherfuckers in here? What language does Bogard yep. speak? Bogard. Bogard. <laughs> like oh, shit. I'm not shitting you. That's actually what they speak. Yeah, oh. that's their language, it's Boggard. Oh my god, I just so happen to know Boggard. Look at that. Oh, I had a language leave. left over. I had a language left over, and uh... No, I didn't. <laughs> I have tongues. On a necklace. That's weird. No, and also the spell. It's <laughs> fucking weird. Okay, then. I can, I can speak TM. That's gonna come real handy in this campaign. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna start speaking in that. But He's anyways. like, bang 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 bang! We're just like, what the fuck? I speak celestial and infernal. Shall, shall you help me kill these boggarts? No intention of letting them escape me again. Okay. I'm gonna, well, let's, let's ask him if, uh, what if we just relocated them? Instead of killing. Nah, these demon worshippers have been around for long enough. I've told their numbers many times, but they just keep coming back. It's okay. time I end them for good. Why don't you go ahead and head back to where we found you, because we, we'll take care of this. Aye, sir. Not to be rude, but they do live in a cave. Then you're pretty dull. <laughs> I'll wait here. Nah. Thanks, mate. Tip off what we're going to do. Alright, um, I suppose we could just, like, kill the first few. Alright, um, Maskin will wave to the tree. <laughs> Try one last time, just saying, like, Oh, it's, it's really no bother. Besides, shouldn't you be out on patrol, or... I don't mean to impose, but... Hmm. Oh, you watering right watering himself or something? And at that, he I... walks away. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, the only issue is we don't know when he's going to come back, so we have to be kind of very swift and... Guys, this is going to be an easy quest. So far, our biggest opposition has been a retarded tree. <laughs> <laughs> but now we have to fight the frogs. Well, maybe not fight. Who's hungry? No, they've been infested with cranberries. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> They've been invested with cranberries, what? <laughs> well, the, cran the, the, the cranberries grow in the boggards. Have we not established this? Yeah. Oh, we established that? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Are, don't, aren't you paying attention? No, they bleed really. cranberries, Thomas. They bleed cranberries. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Alright, can we just put our tokens on the map so we can just murder them? You can indeed. Well, no, let's, like I said, right. let's we try to recruit the, the boggards. Can we kill one or two? 
We could hmm? probably kill them to make a point. Yeah. Like, yeah, you don't want to fuck with us. Once they start, like, back-taunting us, then yeah, let's kill a couple. But as long as they're flying. Yeah, kill one or two, maybe their leader, you know, we'll be fine. Oh, yeah, don't boggers do the thing where, like, uh, if you challenge their leader and win, then you become the new leader? <laughs> Is that just every <laughs> savage race ever? Just like, oh, dude, much. like, 1v1. Masklin, Masklin would annihilate their leader. I would just Close. I would just cast cause fear in their leader and just be like I think I win. Well, <laughs> yeah, but that just makes him afraid. Right, so that, he has to yeah, run away, no, so he looks like, like a pussy to the rest of the clan. Right, but you have to like legit kill. Ah, uh, then he just yeah, exactly. So color spray and color pickaxe. spray, yeah, <laughs> right. Yep. Thinking cloud, that is glitter dust. No, no, Sleep literally storm. just Bombus color storm. spray and a pickaxe. Eventually, that's... Color spray and a pickaxe. Right. Okay. Sleep and a pickaxe? <laughs> yeah, that'll work too. <laughs> Sleep and a sight? Uh, Smoke and a pancake? Pickaxe. Cigar and a waffle? Smoke and a pancake? Shave and a haircut. User joined your channel. <laughs> Brave and the bold. User joined your channel. Hello, what? people. Smoking a pancake? She got a bit? Spawning a bit? I glad I've been. Glaive, Gusarm, Glaive, Gusarm. Alright, anyways. Well, what's going on, man? There were frogs. Where did they go? I don't know. One left. <sighs> One disappeared as soon as he saw you. Well, I, got, I got no token, so... Put your token on the board. You I can can't put it on the board. Yes, you can. How? Oh, oh, no, you can. Yes, you can. I cannot. Go to your, um... It's on the board. Your... There we go. Alright, um, let's slip. Get into party position, everyone. I'm in the front. Where's my paladin? Hello, Frantic Ben. Paladin. <sighs> <laughs> Is Ben just the one that's breathing? Yeah, that's Ben. <laughs> uh, you guys didn't know to mute him as, me as soon as he entered the channel? Because I did. Oh, no, I, he's been muted for me since, like, <laughs> yeah. since, those, since those people joined that we didn't you know should, who was. You should oh, always yeah. know to mute immediately, I, Ben. Uh, thank yeah, you, I, put, ben. I put his volume all the way down and they just started poking me. Yeah, User in your channel me too. Down. Fucking damn it. He can never stay in. <laughs> hey, wake up. Alright, oh, so. User entered your channel. Welcome back. Alright, so, um, can, like, what is, is this cave mouth just really dark, or? No, there's a line of vines. Hey, oh. look underneath the vines. Cut them down. Uh, now, I, now I'm regretting not getting the scythe. I'm gonna yell at him to wait. Oh wait, I don't know, Bakken. If we follow him? Who is... Who's gonna control Grumble? Good question. Yeah, Thomas is Grumble with us? Not Mike, he's not Mike. Do we have Hover. light? Dark vision. Like, who's being our frontliners? Rumble, Kaizen, Frank, I assume. And how many of them have dark vision? I don't even Wait, have dark Frank, vision. I don't know, I'm walking around because I'm bored. The frog's going that way. 
So you're gonna follow him off a cliff? Hello? So often, I'm going to have to listen to this replay just to understand what the fuck happened in the session. Thomas leave? He's revealing shit. Thomas is muted. If you're talking right now. User left your channel. User joined your channel. Yeah. All right. So, where the fuck is Frank going? Over here. Yeah, I don't know. Like, Frank just took off. Yeah, Frank, I, come back. I don't like to follow bloggers. <laughs> you are going to get, like, eaten by something, and we're not gonna miss you. <laughs> yeah, you guys I'll go ahead Frank. and- you guys go ahead and keep following the bogger and see what happens. Yeah, fuck boggards. Don't split the party. Don't tell I'm me how to live my life, I'm going Frank. User entered your channel. Yeah, I don't know what's up with Nihilus, but, uh, he's muted. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of have crap to do anyway. I got, I got a big evaluation for work tomorrow. Hmm. I mean, we're not exactly being productive. Yeah, Thomas. Maybe his internet shit now again. Yeah, yeah, probably. User disconnected from your channel. God yeah. damn it. Yeah, they went. Should we try for tomorrow? Uh, User joined your channel. Who knows? Probably. I don't know. It Guess. might be for the best. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm okay with that. Maybe for a little bit tomorrow, but, you know. Oh, yeah, is Mike Soccer working? Yeah. You want to just call it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, th I think it's time to call it. Yeah, okay. Let's just call it here. Yeah, maybe a little bit tomorrow at most. Yeah, we head into the caves. And happiness commences. Excellent. Everyone's eaten by frogs. Alright. Lovely. See you guys tomorrow. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, uh, next week then, huh? Yeah, next week. All right, gents. All right. All right. See ya. All right. Yeah. Later. <laughs>